Tingle, tingle, kaloo, limpa! Well, come back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I'm your host today, Silent Senior 9 and we're going to continue off where we last left off in the Stone Tower Temple. This is the Lava Room! Yeah. Really, really creative original title, dude. Alright, so, next thing we're going to do is we're going to stomp the switch. And this is a timed switch, actually, so you need to make sure you do move as quickly as you can. And roll and do like rolling spurts. This is probably not gonna make it. Uh, yes! Wow. Just barely. Just freaking barely, man. I felt I saw that. I was about to get burnt. Yeah, there's a ring of fire. You know, the ring of fire. Oh, sorry. Um, that was surrounding that switch there. And that switch basically just turned off another ring of fire, which seems kind of pointless, really, honestly, when you get right down to it. You know what I forgot to do? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Anyway, that chest that we just uncovered is yet another stray fairy. So you're gonna find it very common to have stray fairies within chests in this place. Man, that is so weird, saying chest, the pl plural form of it. It's ridiculous, man. Because you already have an S in front of a T, and then you have to say chests. It sounds like I'm stuttering or something, or I have an S. Say, I like emphasizing the S on things, you know, like the compass or stuff like that. You little fart knocker, where you at? I guess he's not there. Alright, well let's head on back. Toward the ladder! Yes! You see that or the ladder? Oh, sorry. I heard that expression, I remember when I first heard that expression, I'm like, what in the world does that mean? That or the ladder? And as it turns out, it means, it's basically just another way of saying that or the origin that or the uh, last statement said basically I think it's what it means if I remember reading it right but who knows maybe I've messed that up okay so this is the other part of this room that can be a bit of a daunting task aside from pressing that switch you have to take the Deku link or Deku form of link and make your way over here you want to make sure you do kind of wide cur you want to make some nice curves and this part you definitely want to curve sharply, because you have to get past here, and I don't think we're gonna make it, am I? Yes! I barely made it. You have to do, like, a really sharp curve right there. I guess that little bomb dude died. The real bomb, the bomb dude, yeah. Bomb chew, excuse me, the real bomb chew, yeah. Bomb chew, chew bomb, cha bomb. Cha bomb! Come on! Come on! Oh, okay, sorry. I was kind of drawing a blank as to where I was going with that. Alright, so, uh, I think, how many stray fairies is that? That's like seven? That's not like seven, dummy, that's six. Hello. Math much? Oh boy, they locked the door on us, that can only mean one thing. Boss time! Alrighty, this boss I like to use ice arrows, actually. And some people are gonna be like, what the fudge? <laughs> that laugh, man, that's creepy. Oh, I like, I like how they animated it to show he was jumping down like a ninja. Alright, I'm gonna get Tattle here to tell us a little bit about this dude. It's the Master Arrow! I guess that means he's like a pest or something, or duh, you know. Anyway, you can't fight him like the ordinary Gero. Just dodge those swords. What'd you think I was gonna do? Let him hit me with them? Well, actually, I think I will probably wind up doing that once or twice. Alright, what I like to do is I like to jump out of the way, shoot an ice arrow, and then slice him with my sword. Now, the reason I like to do this is because... Oh shoot, hang on. No, 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 no. Run away. Okay. Is it counts as a hit if you hit him with an ice arrow? And no matter what weapon you choose, Mastigro always requires four hits. And if you don't believe me, just watch anybody's Let's Play and count how many hits it takes them. It takes like four hits, I think, for each of them. To think I could be defeated. Although my rival, you were spectacular. I shall take my bow by opening my heart and revealing my wisdom. If you shoot, that which releases the sacred golden light into the blood-stained red emblem outside the temple, <coughs> it shall rearrange things in which the earth is born in the heavens and the moon is born on the earth. Do not forget these words. Die I shall, leaving no corpse. <laughs> that is the law of scare. Ugh, creepy. He can talk after he's dead. <laughs> As if it weren't bad enough, we were talking to dead people the entire time just to get up to this place, but whatever. Alrighty, so, without further ado, we got the Lamb 6, or the Josh Jefferson. 
We have the Temple of the Item! Okay, yeah. I figured I'd try it, see how it sounded. Alright, so these are light arrows. Um, they probably don't seem like they're a whole lot uh, of impressiveness, and honestly, they... I didn't realize that door stayed locked. I thought it was supposed to unlock. Huh. Um, anyway. Originally, these arrows kind of like, eh. I mean, they were cool, yeah, I looked at them, but honestly, you really don't use the light arrows much other than this temple. And, I mean, it's... It, you can't be helped, because this is kind of the last temple, you know, that you have to go through. But still, you know, you would think there was more of a use for these little boogers, other than just the, the theme of this temple. Alright, so, uh, real quick, before you leave this room, you want to hop down to the side, and either put on the blast mask, or take yourself a bomb, and drop it right about here. Then you're going to walk away for a second and let it blow. That'll activate the switch that's upside down, and this will save you one heck of a pain-in-the-neck trip that you would normally have to take to get this stupid chest. I mean to tell you, when I found out that you could do this, I'm like, oh my gosh, that saves so much trouble. Generally speaking, this is usually the last stray fairy, or next to last, one of the two, that you wind up picking up when you're going to stray fairy hunting. But, because I don't feel like having to deal with traversing around, flipping things back and forth too much, and it's just, ugh. Too much of a hassle, so I want to save us some time and go ahead and get this straight, get as many of these stray fairies as I can now. There is a stray fairy that is, uh, as far as I know, it's impossible to get without flipping this place at least, uh, you know, back and forth basically once or twice. Upside down, right side up is what I mean, not back and forth. But we'll get to that when we get to it. We're not there yet, so no point in talking about it. Hello, this is looks, this looks lovely. I'm gonna go ahead and whip out my light arrows. You can hear my controller clacking. I'm a, I apologize for that if you can. Sorry about that. My, my little 64 N64 controller is a little old, you know. I'm sorry I'm old school like that, folks, but, you know, hey. Really can't help that. I'm not really much into the emulator age, and... As I said, I think a long time ago... Oh, snap. I thought he was about to charge at me or something. Here, you die. Thank you, finally. He's dead. Clunk. Yeah, normally what you would have to do is you just go right around him, and then sneak past him and go in the door, I think. At least I think that's possible. If not, then that's all you have to do to destroy that thing. I should have probably let Tattle tell you about him. Crap, sorry about that. I'll try to remember to do that next time, because you actually have to face him again a second time later. Alrighty, so we have uh, officially, well, almost anyway, cleared through everything we need to do on or on in this temple with this being uh, right side up at, or upside out whichever you want to call it who's to say what's the right way and wrong way you know it's a matter of perception you know how do you interpret things okay yeah that was a lame philosophical thing to say but okay we'll go with it make sure you shoot a lighter at that sun there because otherwise it's going to be a bit of a pain in the neck to try and shoot and find later on mm, excuse me my nose is running, man. That's always a problem with me. My knee, my nose runs and my feet stink. Or smells. Yeah, I messed that up big time. Oops. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm bad at making jokes sometimes. <coughs> oh, hello. Where'd that come from, man? Seriously. Coughing up a storm on your, on your uh, fans there, dude. I don't need to be hearing that crap. Alrighty, so before you leave this temple, because that's what we're going to be doing in a second here, or leave the temple that's inside the temple. It's kind of weird how this is laid out, this temple is anyway. I don't know. I personally feel that the outside of the temple is part of the temple, just because of the music being the same and all that jazz. But maybe some people will differ and say, no, this, this what we're doing right now is the only part of the temple. The other stuff's just extra. Okay, that could have gone better. I didn't mean to hit your head, ram your head into the wall there. Um, what we want to do is we want to get that chest that we made pop up a while back. I think it was... Oh, you butt munch. Come on, man. Ugh. Here we go. Ready and jump. Dude! I'm surprised I haven't blasted myself at least once with those stupid bomb things. This is crazy, man. Oh, sure, why not? Let's just blast ourselves, yes. That'll help. Maybe we'll have some good luck blowing ourselves up. Okay, let's try this again. Alright, once more with feeling, shall we? 
Oh, for heaven's sake. Come on, man. Don't tell me I have to go through all that garbage. Yes, finally. Holy poop, man. Holy enchilada on a stick. That's just ridiculous, man. That's redonkulous. Oof. Glad I got this freaking thing done. Man, this is a pain in the booty. You know, real pain in the booty. Alrighty. We need to get rid of this guy. He needs to get out of here. Here, you know what? Here. No, 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 don't. Hold up the shield. There you go. Explosions! Explosions! So much exploding going on. Too much excitement. Alrighty, so. I'll meet you guys back at the entrance of the temple. Excuse me while I make our way back over there. Yeah, you need to die. Goodbye. Oh, hey guys, we're back. Okay, so, we're at the uh, Stone Tower entrance. Um, we're gonna go ahead and head on outside, because we need to uh, do some remodeling, if you will. Alrighty, if I got this right, over there it was 1, 2, 3 from right to left. So that means it must be the same over here. 1, 2, 3, right? So that would mean I need to do 23 is number 1. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, cool beans. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, uh, we're going to fast forward this a little bit, probably, so excuse me while I do that and fast forward motion, you know. So that would mean I would have to speak at a slower rate, so that way the commentary would sound more natural, as opposed to me sounding like a incompetent individual who does not know how to speak words in his language because it sounds like it's broken, or rather bunched up together like a typical teenager speaking with a lot of slurred vocabulary. Oh man, this is just, this is just ridiculous. Why am I including this? It sounds like I am talking to a rhythm that I'm making up. Speaking of, okay, that's enough. <laughs> okay, so we're back without the fast forwarding garbage. Oh, please make it, please. Oh, whew. Yeah, normally we'd want to roll and jump that, but... Uh, ooh. We're almost out of potion. Let's fix that, shall we? Actually, no, we're already here. Might as well go ahead and pick us up some over here. I mean, that's just silly not to, you know? Okay, let's see here. do 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 Womp. Fairies! Need fairies! Actually, I think I picked up one before we came here. I should probably point that out. I don't think I mentioned it, but I picked up a fairy, and I also picked up couple of blue potions. You're gonna need uh, either this or you're gonna need some Romani Chatu milk. I thought about picking some up but I'm like eh, it's not really necessary. Later on it might actually come in handy but for now it's just kind of like eh, I don't really need to. Alrighty, so this is the gym we need to hit so let's go ahead and do that right now. Whoop! There it is! Okay, so I hit it. What? Oh, Jesus! Uh, parachute! Need a parachute! Whoa. And somehow, with all the turning that went on, we, uh... Are we in heaven? Oh, no, okay, so we're, we survived. We magically teleported, you know, teleportation! Or something like that, I don't know. Teleport! Alrighty, so... It's official. We are losing our minds, folks. We are officially upside down. Or are we right set up and everything else is upside down? Ooh freaky. It's kind of weird. It's kind of cool how they did that. They made all the rocks that are still falling. They made them still fall, but they were like, slowly fall. That's really cool. I like that. It's just like slowly falling in slow motion. That's like, okay, I'm sorry. I'm done messing around. Let's go ahead and get in this temple, shall we? Now that it is flipped around, if you will. It's kind of cool that they made path the pathway about the same, pretty much, upside down and right side up. It's a stone tower temple with a whole new perspective. It's like we're standing on our heads, basically. Except we're not, you know. Okay, so you want to be very careful in this room now because it is officially more dangerous due to the fact that there's a lot more pitfalls to deal with. And I think, let me check my map here. Let's see here. If I go right, I cannot go right. So I'm gonna have to go left, I think, right? Or left, oh. <laughs> I think it's left, is it? Okay, I got a bass backwards. Dang it! I knew I would do that. I thought I had it. I thought I had in my mind. I'm like, yeah, I got this planned out. I'm gonna figure this out. Because right is left, right? Because now that it's upside down, you know. 
Yeah, sh that goes to show you how much logic helps. Jeez. Or better yet, lack of thereof. Alrighty, so this is the room actually that had a lot of water in it. We're gonna go ahead and knock out the uh, block. And if you don't believe me that this is the same room, you can take a look up in there and see the chest we opened up to get the compass, or it's at the map. No, it's the compass, because we got the map in the Psycho Armos room. Okay, where's... there it is. We need the Deku Mask for this room. That's one of the things about this temple that a lot of people find appealing, I think, is they love the fact, and I, I'm one of those people too, so I'm just as guilty. We love the fact that you just... you have to use every single item... or item. Well, yeah, obviously. You have to... not item, but you have to use every single... I think I actually want to go ahead and get this mask off for a second here. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Then we need our hookshot. Okay, what was I saying? We have to use every single map, all the different forms of Link. You know, because it's it's like we have to use different soldiers to do different things. Kind of like when Eagles Duakana was talking to us about. Saying, doing it alone would be foolish. Giggity. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, he had a point, basically. Because you can't really do this just as one form of Link. And I'm trying to sound intelligent, but I'm making a real butt of myself as I speak, so I probably should just quit while I'm ahead, if you will. But yeah, you get the point. This temple is actually, its that's one of the charms, aside from it being upside down, right side up kind of temple. Dude. Dude. What the heck, man? I know I can see that. Or is the chest not there? Oh, <laughs> well that was lovely. Yeah, just jump on down. Thank you. Alright, well actually, while I'm down here, we need to hit a eye switch that we couldn't hit before, actually, I think. Or do we? Let me see. No, actually, no, it's not that. Ugh, for crying out loud, man, I'm losing my mind. Holy poop, man. Okay, so... Let's try this again, without the oops. Without the oops, man. It is possible to get this chest without having to use the uh, Deku form of Link. Dude, stop getting the bottles out. You don't, you don't need to be hitting the drink hard, man. Just calm your butt and just do as you do. Do as you will. Okay, how am I hitting the... How is that hitting the wall? That doesn't make sense to me. Logic? What is this? I don't even logic, man. There's a chest there. I clearly see it. Thank you. Latch on to the freaking thing, will you? Jeez. Ugh. Well. Okay. The deed is done. And thy will will be done or something. Something or other. Alright, so let's go ahead and use the air shaft here and uh, blast our way to the top like we're blasting off. Like Team Rocket's blasting off again or something or other. This is kind of cool. I didn't realize you could do that. Well, well, I probably did, I just... I've never actually tried to do it. You can hold Z, and you can make Deku Link go sideways, actually. Because normally going sideways is a real hassle when you're floating around in air with those two flowers. I can't hear the music, but it's definitely... Uh, to be noted, it's pretty cool music that they have here, and I like the fact that they made the music change a little bit. It sounds like it's being played backwards or something, I guess. It's got a nice charm to it, or a nice ring to it. I'm, I'm probably coming up on time here, too. That's what's going to be a bit of a downer for me. I hate to be a Debbie Downer to y'all, but I think I'm about to run out of time here. Okay, we're going to drop down here. And I need to do this now, because otherwise I'm going to forget to do it. Okay, so this... this... Bleh, this... this kid! This kid! Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, In this room, as you remember, there was a... Uh, sun that we couldn't hit because it was underwater, and there's no way possible that you could hit it. However, as it is now, you can actually hit the sun switch, and this is probably the only chest that you would have to pick up um, by flipping the t uh, temple itself upside down and then right side up, you know, to make a second backtrack and trip, if you will. So, if you're wondering, okay, how many times am I going to have to flip this freaking temple around? I'm thinking this is the last one. Actually, that was pretty cool. Look at that, man! Sweet! I'm on top of the world, man. I'm on top of this treasure chest. I own this world. I own this chest, man. So, in the next episode, guys, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we will be opening this chest up and continuing on with the temple. I'm sorry that was rather abrupt, but I can see we're coming up on time, so... See you guys next time, and gals, on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Love you all very much. Please don't let your tails flap, and peace out.